Hello, Bumpy Mixed Quickums here, and I am preparing to start a new Let's Play of Blackguards. It is Daedalic Entertainment's a great little turn-based strategy game. From what I've heard, it's a little darker than most that you might see out and about in the market today, so let's take a look at it, shall we? Basic mode or expert mode? Attention! If this is your first go at Blackguards and or you're unfamiliar with the rules of Dark Eye, we recommend the basic mode. In basic mode, all stats of your chosen class will be distributed automatically, and you can start the game right away. Well, hmm. Well, for the ease of the game, I feel I could probably come up with a decent build in expert mode. I've played a little bit of the game, and then just released on Steam, actually, I think today or yesterday. I played a little bit of the uh, beta, maybe, maybe in the alpha, I'm not sure. But... A little bit of the pre-release of the game, so well, we'll go with basic mode. Alright, so you have three options. You have the warrior, the mage, and the hunter. And then they tell you the strengths, weaknesses, and special abilities of each. <coughs> so we'll look at strengths of the warrior. Trained in fighting with one-handed and two-handed swords. Great body control. Elemental knowledge of treating wounds. Weaknesses. No experience in the wild. Untrained in ranged weapons. And his special abilities are Power Blow, Armor Use 1, and Shield Fighting 1. And then I guess over here you can have the brief rundown. Warriors are specialists in the handling of weapons and can take a lot of damage before dropping, but they are poorly trained in other talents. And then you have the multiple different looks. So we're going to probably go with the Mohawk guy. He does seem to be the most amazingly awesome, so... Let's take a look at the mages. The mages are masters in the use of arcane powers. With their magic, they can guard their friends against an evil fate and be the bane of their enemies. But woe unto them once their powers are used up. Well, strengths <coughs> are as follows. Trained combat mage. I, okay, sure. Strong will. Trained in combat with a magic staff. Solid, <laughs> solid knowledge of wound treatment. That's what we're trying to say there. And the weaknesses are little experience in close combat, no experience in ranged combat. And, of course, special abilities is a much longer list because they are mages. We have astral regeneration. I don't know what happened there, guys. My voice just took over and I couldn't control it. Astral regeneration. Astral regeneration. Ranged spell one. Steady casting. Balm of healing. Cold shock. I can't say that. Ignifaxius's burst of flame. I don't know. Magica Infractica and Kalarm Purum. So, that's what the mage has to offer. And then we take a look over here at uh, the hunter. Hunters are good ranged fighters. They are wilderness experts and practiced in handling melee weapons. Except for magic, they have some command of every discipline, although their partial knowledge could spell their doom. So they're the jack of all trades, so to speak. Strengths, well trained in the use of bows, trained in fighting with daggers, experienced in the wild, experienced in using and deactivating traps. The weakness, little experience in close combat. And their special abilities are Vigilance, Dodge 1, and Targeted Shot. So there you have it. Now you can go male, you can go female. There's no female Mohawkists, so that's kind of sad. But we're going to go male. And we're going to go with the Mohawk. Now, I think I fiddled around when I did it as a hunter. I'm not sure what the best class would be. Generally speaking, in most games like this, a warrior has the advantage because they survive more. And late game, the mage has the advantage because they're so much more powerful than anything else on the planet that they can just destroy everything in one shot. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure what I would want to do here. Um, hmm. We do any, mini money, mo, but I'd rather not do that. So what I think we're going to do, we're going to go mage. Why not? We're going to go with mage, and we'll call ourselves Bumpy McSquigums simply because we can. And there we have it. And we shall watch the opening cinematic and see what happens. We might follow our reason. Our instinct. Or our friends. Sooner or later, all of them deceive us. Trust no one, they say. 
especially not yourself. Well, that wasn't disturbing in any way, shape, or form, was it? Eleanor. All right, now. Is that the? I do have the, the tutorial the turned on. As we have whispers going through the game. Welcome to the tutorial guide. Blah blah blah. I'm probably gonna skip a lot of this. Dash action range very XCOM esque. Love click to attack. If you want to end your turn instead, press enter. Alright, fair enough. Alright, so we are the mage. We are going to retreat to over here. And apparently we can't attack? I, I was going to assume that we could, but maybe we don't have a spell. That's right, and you can do multiple movements. As you can see, well, I'm kind of messing around here a little bit, so I do apologize for that. But either way, that's just gonna. You have to beat the wolf to death, I guess. I don't think you can actually die in this, so. And unfortunately, you have no skills available to you, so you just have to beat the crap out of it with your. whatever weapon you have equipped. In this case, it's my stick. Ha! It's my beat-down stick, and I beat him down. Victory is mine! Uh-oh. No more secrets. No more secrets. Eleanor. What's going on? What's happening to me? Well, that can't be good. There's somebody back there! Right. Oh, no. Guards are coming. Right. Apparently, everything is alright. Now we're in prison, I guess? Because, you know, we killed the wolf that was the eating name. her. Tell us the name. So, yeah. Lysander? W what? To hell with you, bastard! You slew Eleanor. No! No, that's not... What happened to me? He must tell us the name. What are you talking about? Seems unhappy. What name? Tell us what you know, this instant! What I know? What name? Too bad. You leave me no choice. My friend Muratori will make you talk. Ooh. Tell us the name. Uh, uh, uh. The name! What name? <laughs> I don't know any name. That doesn't seem very pleasant. Being flayed alive by Muratori. I've always known what I want out of life. To sleep the days away under the sun. I just wanted to live. No more, no less. You want shirt and shoes The death too. of the princess changed everything. They think I murdered her. And they might be right. Maybe it doesn't even matter. You come into this world as a nobody, and you leave it as a nobody. They'll put a rope around my neck, and my neck will break. But one question still haunts me by the nameless one. What happened to me? See? By the nameless one. If he had a name, wouldn't be the nameless I don't one. Know why would. you're here? But I have a feeling you shouldn't stay. How did you manage to free yourself? You biggins don't know how to lock up an angry show. Hmm. Or that's we like have a dwarf. <gasps> hey. Hey. All right. We have the ring menu. All right. I will glance through some of the stuff. Initiative bar. Yeah, yeah. All right, simple enough. So it's me, then Dwarfy, and then God. Alright, so... We have a little bit of control of the... Well, essentially the pitch of the, uh... Camera. Can we wait? Is there a wait feature? Uh, it's gonna end our turn. Wait for him to close with us. Alright, apart from basic attacks, characters can also perform special moves. Alright, let's so do it. So would I right click? Alright, well I don't have a special move, but apparently the other guy might bonk. A 
regular attack and we have power blow! I smack you with my s torch. I thought I was going to say spear, but it's it's actually a torch. I smack you with my lit torch. Do we have any actual spells yet? Oh, we do. Or at least it looks like we do. Well, we don't have any ASP, I don't... I'll try it. Oh, it works! Haha! -ha! Burn for it, fool! And down he goes. This one will be grateful that he doesn't have too much to carry on his way to the realm of the dead. Yeah, it will. Here are the keys. So, what's this name, eh? The name that Four Eyes was asking you about. You mean Lysander? I call him Four Eyes. Well, Maybe you should just tell him what you know. What's your name? What's your name? Hmm? I am Norim. Just Norim? No son of. Just Norim. Why are you here? So why are you here? I was trying to protect your country from the dragon. Fight fire with fire. Or oh, so I thought. What dragon? The dragon. The golden one. He whose deceitfulness is going to devour us all. Sounds because bad. we've become blind to the eternal fight. Ah. Well. Let me tell you a secret. Ooh. Friends. What? Hello. I love secrets. But I would be eternally grateful if you could free me as well. Oh, no. I don't think I want to free him. All right, well, we got AP. I'm not sure what that's for. We have two ducats. So I'm gonna call them from now on ducats or ducats. We'll call them ducats. Why not? Silver thalers and some farthings. We don't actually have any farthings, but whatever. We got a shabby belt, a weak healing potion, and some gambeson gloves. What? All right, let's take it all. Please open the lock. Creepy. I'm innocent, as innocent as a man my age can ever be. Creepy. Why are you locked up? Why are you locked up then? If only I knew. I'm a mage from Alantha, no less. Obviously, reason enough to brand me a spy and throw me into the dungeon. The name's Zerberan. Zerberan. From the house of Florios. Florios. Can't be trusted. The dragon sent him, I tell you. What about the collar? Why are you wearing that ugly iron collar? Uh, you're right. It doesn't match the shirt. You're not it? wearing a shirt. What brought you here? What brings an Alanfan to the country of his enemies? The weather? The landscape? <laughs> the women? Well, he seems very, very trustworthy. I'll open the lock. We could use some help. Wonderful. Now I only need to get rid of this collar. Lose some weight. Oh, hello. Remember to save as often as possible. You can't save a game during combat. Quick save and quick load. Alright, well. We will utilize that quite often, but for now we'll do this. And we're going to go with this one. We're going to save it. We're going to write whatever it was I was doing before. And booyah kacha, saved game. I do want to check the options, guys. I do apologize. I should have done this before. Everything does look fine. And there we have it. So it looks like we go here as they want us to, or we can go here to the guard room and do stuff they don't want us to do. So, I don't know. I'm not sure which is the right answer. We're going to go where we're not supposed to. It's the, always the right answer, guys. Always the right you answer. You don't talk much, do you? Don't have to. My friends say I talk too much. Too Seems much. Seems like those times are over. Let's see if we can find the key for this fashion disaster. Hold it right there! Uh-oh. The chandelier! Cut the rope! The chandelier! Cut the rope! Alright, yeah... Alright, so... There's a chandelier here, we can cut the rope. Or we just do it the easy way. Aha! Fall before the might of the swarm! Looks like we are out of range of some spell action. So we'll move closer. Can we wait? Hmm. I believe we can. Perception, weapon sets, and turn and wait. And likewise with uh, this fellow right here. I can have him move over there, and he can also wait. 
He has closed distance with us and now he's going to suffer. Well, maybe not now, he's not going to suffer. Right now he's going to do nothing. Oh, but now he's going to suffer! Alright, so we have what? Spell protections, spell strengthen, spell weaken, and damage. Polchak does 1 to 6 points of damage, and this is 12 to 20. Oh, why would I even. Oh, the different levels. Alright, fair enough. Sometimes it's smarter to. Okay, so spacebar lets us wait. Oh, that's nice. I have Muradin or Thuradin or whatever his name is. Go over here and smack the guy. Narum, there we go. Totally nailed it. Alright, this guy's supposed to be a mage, but he doesn't seem to actually do anything. So, oh, he dodged. Hmm. Alright, we'll try the uh, cold shock. Ah! It did not work, and I got slapped for it. Don't much care for how that worked out. But down he goes. And we're still standing strong. Alright. A couple ducats, some thalers. Oh yeah. Oh, and look at all these items here. Ah, that is fantastic. We're taking it all. The key to the door. And the one to my iron collar? Excellent. Excellent. Here I was, thinking I'd never be able to cast a spell Ah, again. okay. Alright, so we should do something with our inventory. Between things. Alright, I'm sure all this means something very important, and to be honest, I have read it all before. Don't remember 99% of it, but that's okay. I don't need to remember 99% of it. I don't need to remember any of it. Alright, there is one thing that I do recall, and that's you don't want to have your mages weighed down with things. So, that's something to keep in mind. So we shall get him all geared out as best we can. Some little shoes and things. It appears that our uh, graphical set's a little bit off. Well, oh, here, let me let me demonstrate. All right. So we have a belt down here, which looks like a shirt. We have pants here that looks like a belt, a shirt that looks like a pants. A helmet that looks like boots, and boots that look like a helmet. I mean, it's... Apparently there, there's a, <laughs> a little bit of oversight on uh, how things should be running right now, but that's okay. We can make do. I mean, it's not that difficult. We can definitely make it work for us. It's just a little funny. A little funny. Put the shabby belt there. Put the weak healing potion in the shabby belt. We'll throw some uh, gloves on our wonderful tank guy. We have no hat. And we have no real melee weapon to speak of. So, we're going to leave it at that. Now, we're going to throw some armor and stuff on him, even though he doesn't particularly want it. We'll give him a torch as well. We're just going to be very torch heavy. I, I think that's that's the best way to go. So we're, we're going to essentially equip all our guys the same way because, well, that's all there is right now, so... It's a that or nothing. Now, what do provisions do? Provisions for the rest in the wild, or for a rest in the wild. All vitality points and astral points will be restored when your party rests somewhere outside of town. So apparently in this game, the spells that you use and the damage you take persist until you're able to rest somehow. So, that's something to keep in mind. Alright. Well. It looks like at this point we need to do some stuff. Character sheet holds value. Attributes. Alright, so simple enough. This is just the essential leveling up of your person. Weapon talents. This is a pretty uh, expansive game, and I might actually have to go back through and read some of these things on my own, because 
I honestly don't remember a lot of them, and I do remember reading them the first time going, wow, there's so much stuff to actually get into and, and really understand. And, well, that was probably two, maybe three weeks ago, and, well, I forgot most of it. So, at this point, I'm not sure how this plays out. We can increase vitality, we can increase astral energy, and resistant to, resistance to magic. The cost of the AP are all these things. Now, what they do specifically, bravery and determination in critical situations, strong willpower and resist to magic. Courage affects initiative and base attack value, magic resistance, and astral energy. So it affects all of these, all of these different categories here on the right hand side if you're able to upgrade one of these other dealies. I assume that they're pretty decent upgrades. And as you hover over each stat you see the different things that it could potentially be affected by. So that's kind of nice. So those are basic values and I believe everything you use is uh, this AP. I'm going to call them action points but I think they're adventure points is what they're actually considered so we have our weapon talent tree here and we have I think these are stances we could have a more defensive stance or an offensive stance on things that we're actually trained with so right now there you go our defense is four our offense is three something along those lines if I recall how this actual this mechanic works so we could increase our staff usage. I'm not sure what exactly that does. Maybe it increases the overall stats that we have. Right now it's seven split. If we go to eight, maybe we could have four and four. Again, I didn't get too too far in because I wasn't sure if it was worth me going real deep in and then having to start all over again when I actually did that. Let's play with you guys. So I decided to err on the side of no err on the side of not doing anything too overly strenuous in the game just to get a taste of it to see somewhat of an idea of what's going on alright so body control attributes are courage, intuition, and agility and what do they do? small chance to resist knockdowns and negative environmental effects and it's an active cast ability willpower is active as well, small chance to ignore wound modifiers and reduce the duration of level 1 enchantments or in, yeah, enchantments by 50% and perception and it looks like we already have points in all of these and perception uh, hidden objects, level 1 traps and a 8x radius become available alright now actual spells, now here's where I'm probably going to spend the majority of my monies by monies I mean my adventure points. I would like to... can I unlock these? How, how do you... see I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not sure everything there is to know about things. Like I don't know how to unlock these. I assume maybe you go somewhere and learn them. Either way, it's okay. So let's take a look. What is this? Burst of flame. Sorry. Alright, so level 1. 8 points of fire damage, 83% chance of success. At level 2, the cost goes up by 4, the damage goes up quite a bit. But it's a range, so anywhere from 8 to 18, and the chance of success goes down a little bit. Or perhaps it's already level 2. Um, I'm, I'm guessing maybe that's the case. Alright, then we take a look at our cold shock here. And it's level 1. It does 1 to 6 magic damage. It lowers both dexterity and initiative. Okay, so that slows people down. And then you get rid of some dodge and other things. So, essentially, it's a debuff and a slowing ability. I, I realize that the leveling up probably isn't the most exciting things for you guys. So, I do apologize. I'm just trying to get at least decent idea of what's happening right now. This is a heals poison of up to level one, so let's let's do that. There we go. Two points into that. 
This is a protection spell, removes enchantments. Okay, we'll do one there. 32 AP, we're down to 70 AP left. And well, there's not really much we can do, so I suppose we'll throw one in there. And then yes, we will confirm this, probably. And we'll check out special abilities. Uh, the range of all spells is increased by one field. Nice. Astral regeneration. The hero regenerates a small number of astral points in every turn. Very nice. And steady casting. The hero has great experience in performing incantations. Spells fail significantly less often. Alright, well we're not going to go too crazy on this thing. Because I don't believe I actually leveled anything up my first playthrough. And I went a little bit further in. So, yeah, we're not going to go too, too crazy More with guards. that. So much for escaping. Wait! I know how to Aha, stop Ha-ha! He knows how. At least for a while. Let's do it. Alright, so if I recall correctly, the way you want to do this is you want to select... Okay, we have him selected. And what we want is his firewall ability. This is arcane wall for two hexes. Just like that. Boom. They're not gonna be able to get past us. The cells! Open the cell doors! And now we're gonna go open the cell doors. And this is what V? Oh, V highlights all usable okay. go. Now it should be the bad guy's turn. They can't do anything because of our amazing wall. So we'll wait with him. We'll send our other guy over here to open this cell. And out he comes. And we shall have the prisoners fight for us and they shall do work. Alright. Another one down. And the wall should dissipate, I believe, in the next turn here. So we'll see. We'll see if indeed we are correct in our thinking. We shall wait once more. We shall close some distance. The inmates will make their little rounds there, and then we will release the last of the prisoners. And they will Enough go murder Let's all of the guards. Oh, apparently I didn't have to fight anybody. Surprise! Who's the hero? Me. So, what's this name? The name Amber Glasses was asking you about. Amber hmm. Glasses. That was my friend Lysander. Amongst my people, friends drink together instead of torturing one another. Each to his own. Why did they lock you up? Well... Let's tell them the truth. We could either lie or tell them the they truth. They say I killed someone. A princess. And? Did you? I don't know. And where does this name come in? I don't know. You don't know much, do you? Nope. Did you know the princess well? Her father, Count Urias, had taken me into his service. Lysander knew her better. Her and her bed? In a manner <laughs> of speaking. I like it. Right. Count Urias? Never heard of him. He was a hero. A mage who rendered great services to the Horatian Empire. The Empress herself gave him the title of Count. But more than that, he's an explorer. He has a penchant for exotic peoples. Forest men. Lizard folk. Sounds more like a villain. A penchant. <laughs> Country estate of Count Urias, five weeks before Eleanor's death. Ah, take the blasted wooden sword already! Why are we dueling again? I don't know, is it really important? I think you insulted Eleanor. That's <gasps> not true. We were drunk. All I know is, I challenged you to a duel. Or was it the other way around? <laughs> <laughs> don't be silly. Leave them be, I want to see them fight. Uh. To the fifth hit! I'll accept your All challenge. Right. To the fifth hit. At last. Bring it on. <sighs> Can I make him burst into flames and scream in agony? Huh? 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 No? Okay. Something about puddles of mud. I like it. 
Uh, let's see. I imagine he won't know. He won't make him burst into flames. So, what I believe I will do... I will wait my turn. And I will smack him in the face. Oh, he parried me. That is not okay. I will move ahead and try smacking you again. Oh! Booyah! Oh. And... Oh, he parried. Ouch! Attack A! Oh no. I think I'm gonna lose this duel. Aha! Yeah, he's beating me down pretty, pretty soundly. He's giving me a right thrashing, he is. Well, he's closed with me. Smack him again. And five! And you five. win. He beat me. With ease. I'm a loser. Come on, Elena, let's prepare the lamb. I am sad now. Oh, how I missed all this. You actually look like a hero. <laughs> I'm impressed. Those years of training really paid off. A hero? That's the last thing I want to be. I was hoping you'd say that. We should do something naughty like we used to. You oh, know, really? Father Okadiki has no teeth left at all. We should take advantage of that. There's no hope for you, you know. Have you been to see Urias? He wants to talk to you. Yeah, let the Count wait. I'm enjoying the sun. One thing at a time. Aurelia? Who's Aurelia? Now I'm curious. No, enough talk. I'm going back to Nitha. I need to find out what happened. But you don't have to come with me. Why not? I've always wanted to see the bridge of St. Telionel. Well, that explains it. Let's go! Alright, well, looks like we're gonna come to a close on our uh, little episode here, guys. Um, I think it's enough of the first episode, and hopefully you guys have gotten a good taste of, well, maybe not a good taste, but a, a small taste of what this game is going to entail. I might do this a little bit more sparse, kind of drag it out a little bit, because I have a couple, quite a few other projects I'm doing right now. So let's see, this is the world map, you can determine your party's path, blah blah blah. Alright. So it looks like we only have one option, and I don't believe I can go back to where I'm at now. So, we're going to go to Nitha, and we will save and end the game. You know what? We'll save and end the game here before we do that. So this will be the end of the episode, so I want to thank you all for joining me in this brand new Let's Play of... Dun Dun Dun! Blackguards! It is a Daedalic Entertainment's... A great little turn-based strategy game, and it's party-based, and, well, RPG elements, there's a lot to this game. And as I'm sure you can already tell from how the storyline has progressed thus far, it is a bit darker than most of the games that you might play with this kind of a scenario or a genre. And, well, it looks to be fun, looks to be challenging, hopefully I do it justice. So, thanks again for joining me. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you guys in the next episode. I'm Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.